All right, uh, good afternoon, CT teachers. Um, just a quick, sorry, just a quick uh, training video on how to use the new CT travel form. So um, within the new CT Canvas uh, manual, you'll eventually get to the after travel form, which you can see here on my screen. And it'll probably change a little bit because I'm still editing, but the link for the travel form will be there. So when you click on the link to the travel form, it's going to open up Office 365 for you. And hopefully, I, it may prompt you to log in, I guess. I'm going to pop right in because I'm already logged in. And you're going to get to this form. Now, um, on the actual form, you should have two tabs at the bottom. Um, I'm going to change this and get rid of this tab. But you have a Start Here tab for the state reimbursement and a Personal tab. Uh, for your reimbursement. Now what we've decided to do in Mandan for CTE only, so this is just for you, not for other teachers, because of the nature of CT and having to put in a CTE form and then also to put in a form to know that we need to pay you for certain travel versus just get reimbursement for it, we've kind of tried to come up with this form and I don't, hopefully it works, okay? So um, what we're going to do is um, the first thing, since this form is read only for you, is you'd have to do a file save as. Now each month, just come to this, open up the form. I would save it each month. I would not use the same form over again. For, for some of you, you might have the tech skills, you can do that, but, but for simplicity, I would just start over again. I would come in, do a save as, and do it for you know Jeff January, Jeff February, Jeff March, whatever. What we're saying is we want to have these forms for travel should be no more than 30 days late. So if it's the January travel, we want by the end of February. February travel, end of March. I know commonly some people will wait per semester or one time a year. We're not going to accept those anymore. So we want to wait no more than 30 days after the month so we can process that travel for you because the office will um, sync up your travel request to your actual uh, travel authorizations with your your actual employee leave so all those things happen uh, within the office so we don't want to go back too far so okay you're going to do a save as i'm not going to do it too, well yeah i will i'll do a save as save as reimbursement travel uh, let's just do august august and i'm going to put it in a different folder since i want to get rid of it later I don't know. You can do it. Okay. So I'm just going to put it in that folder. For me, that works. Okay. So I have a now a different copy. Should rename it when it pops back up. Okay. Sorry. All right. So I have renamed it. It's now my file. I should have full rights to it. You should have full rights to it. It's yours. So if you do the start here reimbursement, again, Mandan should already be in there. Pick your... Um, area so ag what month it is august 2019 okay um and then put in your travel now again this is all travel this is your travel this is student travel this is with the bus this is with the car this is so we this this tab is for um us to get a copy to reimburse the state so i'm gonna i'm gonna say you know travel or whatever to beulah Okay, and I'm just going to make up time, 5 p.m. Okay, you should be able to put in whatever you want in here. Okay, miles, I'm guessing. Okay, the rate should happen automatically. You'll see all these this text to the far right. Don't mess with it. That's where this is coming from. Okay, so 58 cents is the state rate for you, and 95 cent is the bus rate. Okay, so 58 cents. Um, if you add meals, 10.50. Okay, lodging zero miscellaneous zero okay so let's go down and do another one so let's say we went waited a couple weeks and we say we had teacher meeting um, again 7 a.m Okay, you kind of get the idea. And again, these are by date. That's why I'm picking them on the 14th. 
Um, and if again, if you would take a bus 7 a.m. to 4 p.m., we'd just do the same thing, another 100 miles. So some of these might be Some of these might be bus miles, some of these might be your miles, okay? So if it's something where you went on a bus and you probably need to be uh, compensated yourself, um, you could add that on here, that maybe you went and you have to be paid for meals, okay? Seven, I'm just making these up, so don't make these right. These aren't gospel, okay? And probably no lodging, whatever, okay? So they should add up for you and have the state reimbursement. Again, this is everything. This is what we're going to claim. Now, on the personal expense side, it should copy them for you to save you some time. Okay, so you can see they all just copied over. Now, on this sheet, the personal expense request sheet, that's where it's what are we paying you? So FFA competition, and really all you have to do, you're going to wreck the sheet. That's why I said you're going to kind of have to come and download a new sheet every month. But you can just take that out because that's not paying you. This one, we're paying you. We got to pay you the mileage. Maybe you drove your own car, okay? You got your own meals, that type of stuff. Um, you could really take out whatever you don't need. If you didn't need, if you just need meals, you don't need miles, just take it out. And I just have uh, meals. And then here, maybe I drove, I need miles to Beulah and I need meals to Beulah, okay? Just rip out whatever you don't want because, again, next month you're going to go and download a new copy of the sheet. What I need from you then is just a copy of both sheets. When this is done, August, just close it and then email me this Excel sheet and you should be fine. Now, when you're done on the first sheet, again, go to the front, this little gray box I can put my name in. And that's your signature, and it should copy over to the second sheet. It should do all the work for you. You just have to delete what you don't like, and it should be ready to go. On this, we will pay you. Mandan will run this travel expense uh, for you and use it to get you reimbursed. So hopefully that gives you a little primer on what to do, and um, hopefully it makes your life a little easier. Thank you.